The world has come to recognize that rich biodiversity and thriving ecosystems are vital for the long-term well-being of humanity. We are deeply dependent on the ecosphere and, in turn, its future rests on our own willingness to care for this profoundly complex, often fragile, and yet resilient web of interdependent life forms. This is why it is urgent we all strive to better understand the compounding impacts of human activities so we may more effectively protect habitats and help our planet regenerate herself. Until a problem is identified and widely accepted as real, no sustained concerted action to fix it will ensue. One such unrecognized problem is the massive and diverse impacts an invisible, inaudible, impalpable contaminant is having on wildlife, man-made electromagnetic radiation. Just as asbestos, lead, and a number of other things were once thought to be harmless substances essential for the progress of civilization, the radio waves used in wireless communication are increasingly recognized by an alert scientific community as having the potential to impact all living systems. Some species are more affected than others, such as birds sensing the Earth's magnetic field to navigate their migration and foraging bees to find their way back to the hive. As research advances, we can state with growing certainty that no life form, however minute and simple or large and complex, is immune to the deleterious effects of highly pulsed radiation from most wireless communication devices. This is a pervasive pollutant. The UN Biodiversity Conference COP15 taking place in Montreal from December 7 to 19 is a unique opportunity to alert both the participants and our fellow citizens to this blind spot in our understanding of a key cofactor for biodiversity loss. Most people have become inured to the widespread and often inescapable impacts from radio frequency radiation because of the convenience of wireless technology, they are prone to overlook its many potentially harmful consequences, affecting all forms of life. The scientific evidence is clear enough to assert that COP15 should address this issue in its final text to be released in June 2023. We need industry to implement wireline technologies regulators around the world to fill current regulatory gaps and all of us to choose more benign technologies. Turning a blind eye to this key contributing factor for declining biodiversity is no longer an option. Please make time to delve into the evidence and proposed solutions at the web address displayed on your screen now. Together, we can help stem the rising tide of electromagnetic pollution and thus better protect all life on Earth.